Hi everyone, um, this is Carla with Carla K Art. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm an artist that specializes in hand-painted silk and I've talked a lot um, in my YouTube videos about how I use Procreate on the iPad to help me with my design. When I found out about this Procreate, I had to get it. So today I'm gonna give a short um, YouTube demonstration of how I use Procreate in my design process. Um, so you know, for my designs, as of right now anyway, I've had the iPad for about almost a month now, I'm still drawing my designs on paper. Um, I like being able to see the whole entire design and most of my pieces are larger. The piece that I'm working on right now is 36 inches square. So the iPad, the biggest iPad they have is a 12 inch screen. So um, I like to be able to see the whole thing. So I do my drawing on paper and I do my initial painting just straight on the fabric. Um, and then when I get the initial painting done, the foreground done, not the background, just the foreground, I then take a photo and put it into Procreate. And it's at that point that the magic really begins in that I can play with all different kinds of backgrounds um, using Procreate. And I'm, I've just taken a short video of some backgrounds, possible backgrounds I've created for um, a piece that I'm working on right now that involves um, a lot of magnolia flowers, abstract magnolia flowers. So I'm going to run you through this demonstration. I hope you like it. Sit back and relax and enjoy and um, I'll run through this real quick. So I start with a pencil drawing that um, I made. I drew a design of these flowers on paper. Then I transferred that um, paper design to the silk. And I'll put a little shortcut up on top to a short video I made of how I do that. Then I um, copy over the, the pencil lines on the silk with resist. And I use both black and clear resist in this, in this project. And then I paint it in with the dyes and you can see the pink magnolia flowers and the accent yellow flowers. So the piece came out really nice and I knew that I wanted to do a lot of um, different background techniques, but I wasn't quite sure what techniques um, I wanted to employ. So this is when Procreate really helps and um, when I really start to implement the Procreate program in my design process. Um, at this point, I take a photo of the artwork and I transfer it into the um, Procreate program on the iPad. And at this time, I'm going to say that I'm not going to go into a lot of details on to how um, I copy the, the piece into Procreate. This is not a YouTube video on how to use Procreate itself. Um, this is a video on how I use Pro Procreate to help me out. So I'm going to deal with the art half of it and not the technical half of using the Procreate program or the iPad for that matter. So this is the finished photograph moving across your screen here so you can see some of the details involved. And I transferred this photograph into Procreate and that looks like this. This is what it looks like when it's on the Procreate program. Now there's a color selection tool on the right and you can see me selecting some colors from the color wheel and I can drag those onto the photograph and Procreate acknowledges my existing design and just puts colors wherever I put them. So I can put colors in the background and I can um, put um, layer the colors on top of existing colors if I want to. So if I put yellow on top of the pink flowers, they'll turn a bit of an orange tint if you get my drift there. Um, and so I'm allowed to totally play with this background. Now there's different textures that you can also um, you utilize and or select. I haven't or purchase. Um, I'm just using everything straight off the pad right now, what came with the program. And you can see me adding color here. It's picking up some of the sheen of the fabric, so that's why the blue is not consistent across the whole entire page. There was some sheen in the photograph from light reflecting off the silk that's created the, um, the differences in color. But you can also select um, um, it to do gradients like that if you want to purposely make those gradients. And as I go through and drop color onto the page, um, you can see how it switches from blue to purple depending on where the light hits and where the photograph, um, the sheen of the silk, and the reflections of the light off the fabric take place. And I just get to play. And 
It's really fun. You can um, undo by pressing the screen with two fingers and you can redo by pressing the screen with three fingers. You can go through and make a variety of color choices with ease and as I continue to work here, um, the photograph was picking up some of the pencil lines, which will be deleted in the final wash process. So that was creating some texture lines as well. Um, you can zoom in like that to get little detailed areas. Um, you can zoom out to see what the whole piece looks like. Um, at this point, I can of course draw on the page or add other details if I want to. Um, but in this particular piece, I'm just working with the background. I don't want to add any more foreground, so I'm strictly playing with the background colors through the rest of this video. Um, it's really fascinating to me how I can make the piece go from a cool color piece with predominantly cool blues and cool greens to a warm color piece by adding um, yellows and oranges. And just with a, a flip of the pencil, it totally changes the way things look. Um, I will point out that um, I'm using the latest Apple Pencil because I have the most recent version of Procreate and I am using a 12 inch tablet. It's the biggest tablet they make, iPad they make. Um, and as far as I know, the Procreate program is only available on the iPad. Um, it costs about 10 bucks for the um, Procreate program and it's a one-time fee. Um, you can buy brushes and whatnot for the Procreate program, and I believe um, that you can also copy some of those brushes in from your Adobe Photoshop pro program if you're familiar or if you've been using that program. Um, I just love the way this allows me to play with the background and see um, all the availabilities um, there are out there. Um, for color choices and then when I'm done um, I can take a photograph of this piece and I can actually go and replicate it on the silk and um, get some really unique and different effects and um, as I said before I just love using this program it is so much fun and I hope that um, by watching this you kind of get an idea for some of the possibilities for using Procreate in your own artwork um, there was a bit of a learning curve for learning Procreate. It took me um, a good week of messing around with it before I could um, get to the point where I felt somewhat confident on it. There's still a lot of things I have to learn and there's lots of YouTube videos on how to use Procreate. So um, I recommend checking them out. Um, there was one particular artist by the name of James Julier that I really enjoyed watching his videos and learned a lot from him. And I'll put a short link in the end of this YouTube video um, to um, his um, website, if I can, his YouTube site, so that you can take advantage of those videos if you want to. He's not the only artist out there doing it. He is just a teacher himself of high school art, and so I found his vocabulary and the way he was teaching things um, easy to understand and um, quick to learn. I, I understood what he was talking about. Um, but I just continued to change um, the different colors in the piece um, and to um, make them exactly what I wanted them to be. And this way I don't, um, it's really quick and I don't um, waste any supplies. I don't have to do stuff with colored pencil. I don't have to do stuff with gouache. Um, which are the old school methods that I had been taught. Um, this is the first um, computer-aided art program that I have really, really utilized like I would utilize um, paints on paper. I was using GIMP2 for a while. It's a web-based program. It's free, so you can download it yourself if you want to try it, but you have to use a, a Wacom tablet in order to use it, and I didn't appreciate the disassociation between the tablet and what was showing on my computer screen. So I've saved the um, different files that I've made, the different color choices I've made, um, so I can move on to the next color choice and um, not ruin what I've already got if I decide to stick with something I've already got going. Um, and so you're seeing me flip back and forth to the gallery as I save different pieces um, and different color choices and different color schemes. And then in the end, I can pick which one I like the best. And in here too, um, 
I get to a point where I start to use one of the brushes as an outline tool to outline the outside part of it. So here I start using one of the outline tools to, um, well, it's actually just one of the tools of it, the paint brushes available in a really wide um, brush setting to do outlines on the outside of the piece to create some different borders. I purposely left two or three inches on the outside of the flower design to enable me to be able to put a border there if I should decide to do so. Um, the total size of this piece is 36 inches square and I think some of these borders look really nice. Um, so you can see here, I just continue to make color choices for um, borders on some of the other pieces um, where I've saved the, the colors that I had in place, just to see what different color choices would look like on the different backgrounds I've selected. Um, Procreate, and the, and the brush I'm using to do that um, border tool is actually just, a, it's what they call a soft airbrush, and I've just got it on a really wide setting. You can get, um, brushes um, for Procreate that will leave behind a texture that is exactly like watercolor, um, that uh, wet on wet or, or dry on dry. Um, they will um, leave behind textures such as crumpled up um, pieces of paper where you get all that wrinkly texture or they can leave behind a pattern like a bunch of smiley faces in a row. Um, for example, um, all kinds of brushes are available. There's quite a few brushes available that just come with the program, but you can purchase others. Um, and um, here I am going around the edge with black um, just to see what it would look like. Um, I really like different areas of the color and how it's mixed and um, just going back and forth and trying to recreate those same type of colors in different areas of the piece that um, I didn't like the color mixes so well. As you can see, I can add yellow to a different part and see what that would look like. The iPad is rather expensive. It's right around $1,000. The Apple Pencil is somewhere around between 100 and 150, depending on where you buy it. Um, the Procreate program is $10 and it's a one-time buy. It's not um, a rental program. You don't have to pay for it each month. You just buy it once. I really like some of the textures that the program ends up inadvertently creating in my piece. And sometimes the challenge for me is actually trying to recreate those textures on the silk. Um, but the way that it organizes the pixels and the way that it grips the edges of color choices um, creates its own um, textures in the piece. And um, I really enjoy watching those occur and how they help my own imagination in what I want to see in the back of this piece, in the background of this piece. Because I'm, it's almost like finding images in the cloud sometimes, where you look up into the cloud and you see um, a puppy dog, or you see um, a person running, or you see a waterfall. Sometimes I see those in the shapes that this program is actually creating. Next, I'll talk about the colors. Um, that I keep the colors area, that box that keeps popping up there on the right. Um, the There are several different types of color palettes that you can access in Procreate. Um, I tend to start off with this, with a circular one um, that just shows all the different colors um, with all the different gradients. And then I kind of move on to um, a color chart that they call Harmony, which just shows all colors that go really well together. That way I don't have to hunt around for them. Um, but um, I usually end up going back to the main um, color wheel with all the gradients um, a few times during my piece because the harmony piece um, can get rather um, muted um, depending on what colors you're choosing out of the harmony color box um, boxes. Um, there's all kinds of tints and shades available. You can... Um, layer colors on top of each other. And one of the things that I'm not using very much yet in Procreate is the actual layers tool. And if you look in the upper right hand side, right next to the color selector 
blue circle, the green circle right there that I'm using, there's a, two squares on top of each other. And that's layers and um, the layering tool. And you can pick layers and have multiple layers in your piece so that if you um, put all the small flowers on one layer and all the big layer, big flowers on another layer, if you want to delete all the small flowers, you just have to delete the small flower layer. Um, but I haven't used that so much um, just because I've been using it mostly for my backgrounds at this point. I have started a couple of actual paintings on Procreate um, where I'm doing the whole piece digitally. Um, and for those pieces, I do have a lot of layers. Um, but um, for this background work, I've, I'm just using the one layer that um, is the imported photograph. Um, or I should say it's the second layer because the first layer is actually a layer of white and then the second layer is the photograph. And I don't know that I ever even touched the layers tool um, when I'm working on this video to show you what that looks like. But that is available here. So in this final section, you just kind of see me flipping through the final selections I've got for the background. Um, of my piece. Um, these are the selections that I think I like the best. Um, I think um, here I'm making some last minute changes to one of them to see if I would like it better with some warmer colors in it or not. But you can see how I've got them all lined up there. And to a certain extent, I could have done that with layers. I just talked about layers in the last piece, but um, the last little section there. But I wanted um, I like to see them all laid out before me in the gallery like that, so this makes more sense for me right now to have it um, look this way. In this little section, I accidentally touched the blue to the resist lines and it changed all the resist lines to blue. So if you're an artist that wants to work with colored resist lines, you can actually make the resist lines colored in here. Um, I could have taken a picture, for example, of a pencil drawing, stuck it in here and changed the pencil lines to blue to see what it would have looked like with a blue resist. And then here I am just enlarging and um, the piece to make detailed um, areas, that blue background color and kind of playing with last minute details on the piece. And I think in this little section too, I hit the line again, the black resist line, and I make everything blue one more time. Um, it's Procreate and the iPad are really an amazing tool for artists. Um, I am so glad that I found out about this tool. Um, wish I'd found out about it a bit sooner because it's been out for a while and I could have been using this and it would have really um, helped some of my designs, I think. But I'm so glad I found it now um, and I'm able to utilize it in my work. And I hope as artists, um, if you do any type of work um, similar to mine that you can benefit from using the procreate tool as well and i want to point out that this saves as um, you can save this as a photoshop file to do more work in actual photoshop or you can save it as a jpeg and i can um, print it off of my really good printer right from here to make a giclee um, or a really nice print um, to hang on the wall or to sell on Etsy um, just right off of the screen. I don't have to do any further work to it if I choose not to. Um, I have been using this as a design tool to finish my hand-painted silk pieces, um, but this piece, um, who knows, I might send it to Fine Art America too. Hi everyone. Um, so that was my brief demonstration. Again, I've been using the iPad and Procreate for about a month now. I'm a beginner at it. I've just been playing with textures um, where it's picking up different pixels and it's coloring it differently. And so from there, I've been trying to um, duplicate those textures that I've been creating on accident in some cases um, on the fabric. And I just love, love, love it. I, I'm having so much fun with this Procreate program. Um, really, really enjoying it. So um, hope you like the video um, and I hope you um, subscribe. If you like the video, it's the thumbs up button down below. Please press that. If you want to see more videos like this, um, it's free to subscribe to my channel and it'll just note you, it gives you the ability to get notifications whenever I put out a new video. And if you um, press the arrow um, key down below, it will open up a whole section um, that has some details about myself and my business, including links to my Etsy site where I sell originals, links to my Fine Art America site where I sell prints, 
um, including face masks and yoga mats and all that type of fun jazz. And a link to my website where there's a gallery of um, my past pieces. So um, check that out. And, and um, yeah, that's it. See you in the art studio next time. Talk to you later. Bye.